Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, today's video is really exciting because I've never really made a video like this before. Um, but as you guys know, I think tomorrow through the 12th, is it? The 7th through the 12th of April, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the dates. Um, or, or Sephora is doing their VIB and VIB Rouge like 20% off or 15% off sale. Um, I really don't know anything about the sale. <laughs> uh, but they're doing their like April sale and I wanted to talk about some of the things that I want to pick up from the sale. I've been really trying not to buy a ton of makeup lately. Whether or not I've been succeeding is another story, but I've been trying, okay? I've been buying less than I normally would. Um, I'm going to California in June, so a lot of the things that I wanted to pick up are things that I'm going to use in California. So I thought I would go and show you the things that I want to get. I have the Sephora app on my phone, and I've already thrown some things into my cart, got some things on my love list, too, that are like out of stock or whatever. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about the things I want to get at the sale. So, I have a lot of Urban Decay products because they just launched their, you know, summer launch. Uh, the first thing I want to try out is the Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector. Um, this is kind of like a foundation-y type product. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been like all over Instagram, this new Urban Decay collection in general. Um, but I thought this would be really nice in California because it, you know, is it probably is like a BB cream can, like texture, and it'll be easy to just kind of slap on my face and go without being super heavy. Um, I'll probably bring like an extra, like an actual foundation with me, but I think for just like random days, this would be really nice. I'm going with my family who doesn't really have the patience to sit around and wait for me to put my full face on, so I thought this would be just like a quick, maybe this, maybe some blush and some liner or something, and then, you know, out the door. Something quick like that. I picked out the shade Light. I think they only have like six shades or so, but I figure, why not be a little bit less? I, I would rather my foundations be lighter than darker. <laughs> Um, then I have the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Heartless. This is a light frosted pink color. And why I put this in my Sephora cart, one, I don't have any shades like it in a pencil liner, but also I'm really loving like doing like a nude liner or something in the waterline. And I thought that that kind of would be kind of pretty, just to have a soft like pink accent or something there. So put that in there. Then I have the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer in the shade Bronzed. Like I need another bronzer, but the packaging of it is so gorgeous. It's like this uh, like palm tree thing with Urban Decay. And I mean, I don't know. I'm getting kind of low on my chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. Um, I have it like pan on it, and I really love it. So I did want to try out an Urban Decay one. Then I have the Afterglow Highlighter in the shade Aura. This is just a frosty pink. It says it's an iridescent light pink. And whenever I hear the word iridescent, I'm like, that sounds gorgeous. So it's just a very nice light pink color. To be honest, I kind of wanted to try all three of the highlighters, but I think this Aura pink one is like the only thing that I don't have something similar in my collection. So I picked out that one. Then... I wanted to try the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I got, or I put the like little sample size in my cart. I don't know if I'm going to buy it though because I do know that, I think that mascara does come as like 100 point perks every once in a while, so maybe I'll just wait until that comes around. But I've never tried that mascara and everybody seems to really love it. Then I picked out an Urban Decay uh, powder foundation Basically, just something to set that one and done, uh, like CC cream type thing. Uh, just because I know, like I always set my face, and I know I don't really like that tacky, foundation-y feeling. Like even right now, I feel like I need to like touch up or something because I just feel kind of that tacky foundation feeling, and I don't like that. And then the last thing in my cart 
is a Sephora Z palette. Just because I want the smaller one or the like the medium sized one, I guess. Um, I just want to throw in some shades like from my bigger Z palette to take with me because I don't want to bring my whole like huge Z palette with me. Plus, there's some other shades that I want to put in a Z palette that I don't have room for in my big one. So I thought maybe like the medium sized one would be fine. Then. I have some things in my loved, um, loves category. Um, how do I get to that? Let's see here. I love this Sephora app. I am on here all the time. But, okay, so these are now just things that I want to get. Hopefully they're back in stock by the time the sale happens. Um, and these are just a bunch of lip colors. Uh, the first couple ones are from Too Faced. I put three of them in here. I do need to kind of like figure out which one I really want to get. Uh, but they're the new Melted Matte Liquefied Long Wear Lipsticks in the shades Child Star, Sellout, and Feeling Myself. And they're all like nude colors. I kind of wanted to get shades that I actually thought I would wear. Um, and then if I like the formula, then maybe go and branch out into other shades. Um, but I think I'm probably just going to get one of them. They are $21 each. And even with the discount, that's still kind of a lot to spend on a lipstick. So I'll probably just get one and then just, like, see how I like it. Um, and then the last one is a total impulse. If I really, really hope it comes back in time for the sale because I just think it would be so cool. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catherine. I just kind of want to get this shade because it's my name and it's spelt like exactly the way that I spell it too. Um, and it's just like a brown berry shade, which, you know, is a little, it's probably similar to the color that I have on now, maybe a little bit darker. Um, but I don't know. I think, like I said, it's a total impulse just because it is my name. And I already have a lip gloss from Buxom named Katie. And it's like... It's like my favorite gloss. Like, you can see that it's literally only probably, like, this much left of this tube. And I never use up lip glosses. If I finish this one, it'll be the first one ever. Because I seriously just love it. Like, oh, look at that shine and pearl. But, anyway, um, those are all some of the things that I want to get. I'm sure there'll be maybe more or less. If I do order anything, I'm definitely going to post a haul uh, on the things that I bought, but I hope this suffices for now. Um, let me know in the comments if, what you're going to buy from the sale, if you're going to buy anything. Like I said, I don't really need anything, but with all the new summer launches and stuff coming out, I'm like, i got to take advantage of this sale, even if it's just for like one or two things. So we'll see what I actually get. Uh, but leave what you are lusting after down below, and I will, you know, check those things out as well. Um, in the meantime, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye!